Hello, welcome to Board Against Sweet Neuromas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco. It's time for another one of these Keyforge deck reviews, and we're into Worlds Collide, of course. So let's open another deck up and see what we find. Now, it's been a little while since I've done these. I'm sorry for that. It's been so much to do on the channel. So here we have Beast Crave Spawn of Oncrypt. Kind of weird name, as always. Okay, so nice, nice. Mm, I don't know. Brobner could be a bit. Yeah, Brobner really been, I don't know. I don't know what they've done to Brobner in this new set. It's not that great usually. But, but it's, I guess, I guess uh, you know, in, in the right, I have one deck that is, is fairly good with Brobner as well. So you never know. It could work out. Let's see what we have here. We start off with Star Alliance and we have uh, Walls Blaster. Free Amber, this creature gains fight reap. You may deal two damage to a creature or attach the blaster to Chief Engineer Walls. And if you do, after you do that, you get to stun a creature for each upgrade on Chief Engineer Walls. So that, that could be nice. Oh, this is cool. General Order 24. <laughs> this is an artifact and a law. At the start of each player's turn, they must choose a creature they control and destroy each creature of the chosen creature's house. If that player has no creatures in play, destroy General Order 24 instead. Yeah, so this affects both players and you have to destroy a whole house of creatures. Yeah, it's kind of... I don't know. Some Sometimes it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Encounter suit upgrade after an action is played, but before it resolves, war this creature. I like this card. So it protects uh, one of your creatures. So if your opponent plays a board wipe or direct damage or whatever, your creature gets warded before that happens. And another upgrade, Universal Translator, Free Amber. When you play it, this creature gains Fight Reap, user friendly non star alliance uh, creature. I just realized they, I got, I, I got lost there because they put an I instead of it. That's weird. Anyway, this is, yeah, I'm, I like getting all these upgrades. And this is good with all them upgrades because Transporter Platform is an artifact, Free Amber. Action, return a friendly creature and each upgrade attached to it to your hand. I mean, these upgrades. Well, these two of them gives amber, right? And this one goes to um, the chief engineer wall, so you can you know, get it back to your hand, play it again. Stealth mode is good. Free amber, action, play. Your opponent cannot play action cards during the next turn. Love just stopping your opponent like that. And sensor chief Garcia, three power, play fight reap. Keys cost plus two during your opponent's next turn. That's a good one. And another upgrade, Light of the Archons, free amber, and this creature gains plus one power and plus one armor for each upgrade attached to it. So, I mean, this, what are we up to? We're up to like one, two, three, four. So, if you put all of these on a creature, that's four armor and four power. And another one, wow, we can, we can really double down on this. Wow, this is like 10 plus 10, right? If you have both of them on there, crazy. And Commander Chan, four power, fight, reap, use another friendly creature. So I don't mind beefing this guy up, for example. And here's Walls, two, two power, uh, as an elusive, play, fight, reap, you may return an upgrade or robot card from your discard, card, discard pile to your hand. And that's really good since we have so many upgrades. So that will definitely work. And here's uh, one of my new favorites, Arms Master Molina, four power, hazardous three, and her neighbors get hazardous three. So this is really a good way to protect one of the smaller guys to have her next there. And that was that was an interesting star alliance. Just not that many creatures, but a lot of uh, amber actually and a lot of upgrades. So logos, remote access, free amber, play, use an opponent's artifact as if it were yours. That's a good one. Two of those as well. That could be really handy against the, uh, the, the right deck. And this is a fun one. Three power reassembling automaton. When he's destroyed, if you have any other creatures in play, instead of destroying him, fully heal it, exhaust it, and move it to a flank. So he just he can't be killed really. <laughs> when you have other creatures, he just stays there. And this is really good if we have any, if we have any effect that like have when we have to kill one of our own creatures. Uh, where is it? I mean the law here. If we only have him out, then we can do the law and kill Logos and kill him, and he just keeps coming back if we have other creatures out. Mini group think tank, 3 power, 2 armor, play, fight, reap, deal 8 damage to a creature that shares a house with two of its neighbors. And this is where Worlds Collide could be a bit tricky and a bit brain burning, I think. Because you really have to consider when you put this creature out and you know you have this one in your deck. You have to be careful so you don't put them in a way that you have to kill your own creature and all that. Oh, here's Data Forge. This is a card that I've been wanting to have for so, you know, ever since I saw it. 
But the thing is, I, I haven't, I don't think I have this in the deck yet. This is so cool. Free amber and an action card play. You may forge a key at plus 10 current cost, reduced by one amber for each card in your hand. And I have, I have some logos decks that have crazy archiving, really crazy archiving. So that means if we had this one in there, it would be so easy to key cheat. Now, let's hope that we found, find a way to draw cards and archive and so on. Wild Wormhole, Free Amber, play the top card of your deck. Two of those. Come on, I want archiving. Quant, Three Power Reap. You may play one non Logos action card this turn. That's, that's a good one. If you know, you can do the Reap. Information Exchange. Steal one Amber if your opponent stole, one, stole Amber from you on the previous turn. Steal two instead. It's okay. It's nice having a steal card in Logos. And Igor. Uh, two power, play, look at the top three cards of your deck, add one to your hand and discard the others. And two Igors, I do like Igor because you can cycle through the deck faster. And daughter is good, two power elusive and you draw a uh, plus one card when you draw cards. It's like mother but the smaller one. I really wanted some archiving and draw cards since I finally found a deck with data forge. I have, I have a deck that would be perfect for this. I can archive like ten cards in like two or three turns. But it's not this one. I don't know. Maybe we could remote access something. I don't know. It's gonna be quite tricky to get to get the key cheat going, I think. And then we have Robnar. The floor is lava. Free amber. Artifact. At the start of your turn, deal one damage to a friendly creature and one damage to an enemy creature. I don't know. I have this in another deck. I don't know how how much I like that. It is quite nice though, because like you can do the damage to this guy. Because it doesn't matter if he dies, because he just keeps coming back, sort of. Then we have Pile of Skulls, so this is an old classic. Uh, artifact, each time an enemy creature is destroyed during your turn, a friendly creature captures one. These two could actually go to well together. If you have this one out, uh, if you have both of them out, at the start of your turn you do, will deal one damage to a enemy creature. If they have small creatures, they might die, and you can capture that way. Magwamp, I love Magwamp. Six power after an enemy creature is destroyed, fighting Mugwump, fully heal him and give it a, and he gets a plus one power counter. He just get, keeps getting bigger. I, li I like him a lot. And Skull, three power assault three after an enemy creature is destroyed by Skull's assault damage, give a friendly creature a plus one power counter. So you can boost someone else, which is always good, boosting daughter or something. Another artifact, Shattered Throne, free amber. After a creature is used to fight, it captures one. Wow. So we could double capture. So we have Pile of Skulls and Shattered Throne out and Mugwump does his thing and kills someone. And we capture two. Little Rap Skull. Oh, I don't know if I like this guy. Two power elusive and creatures must fight when used if able. There's some situations where it's good to plop him down. Usually though, on the next turn I kill him myself because yeah, we have a lot of, well, a lot. we have some reap effects we want to do here. So Fire Breath upgrade. One Amber, this creature gains plus three power and gains before fight. Deal two damage to each neighbor of the creature this creature fights. This could actually be kind of nice. Because we have those Light of the Archons, right? Giving plus one power, plus one armor for every upgrade. So getting another upgrade on a creature is not bad. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. This could be useful in this deck, actually. And another artifact. This deck is so crazy. So many just upgrades and artifacts. And the flamethrower deal one to a creature with one damage splash. Again, this this combos well with this combos well with like if we can if we have this one, we do one damage to an enemy creature at the start of the turn. Then we can maybe finish someone off with flamethrower, and then we will capture one with pile of skulls. So yeah, shorty. I think his name is funny because he's a short giant. Four power assault four and reap and rage him. So you can only reap uh, every other turn. Cow find five power before fight, deal two damage to each neighbor of the creature cow find fights. This is pretty good. You can run him into some elusive guy. And Berserk Slam is a card I like actually. Free Amber, action card play, deal four damage to a flank creature. If this damage destroys that creature, its controller loses one. And we have Pile of Skulls, so that could also mean we capture one. So some kind of weird Amber control in Brobnor here actually. And a board wipe sort of, Volcano, play, deal four damage to each creature, gain two chains. And yeah. It, 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 this one might actually work good with this deck because we don't have that many creatures ourselves. Wow, this was uh, this was I like it. <laughs> I, I mean, I like when we find some deck that is 
not like any other deck. This is different. This is different indeed. So I'm gonna check. I want to know how many creatures were in here. It's not that many, and I mean a lot of these uh, Worlds Collide decks they really rely on having a lot of creatures. But I think it's fun with something different, and you know it might work out as well because yeah, we'll see. We have three, six, nine, ten. 12, 14, 15 creatures, that's fairly low. And of course we don't really have, hmm, don't really have that strong lineup. Now this is nice if our opponent is not careful and placing his uh, creatures the right way. And this guy can, you know, stay alive for a while. And Magwamp is the strongest one, but he's a really good one, so. And the interesting thing is that, what was it, one, two, three, four, five, so it's six upgrades, right? That's that's not bad at all. Especially considering, yeah, like I just said, with the Light of the Archons. I mean, we can really boost uh, Mugwump <laughs> if we wanted to. Uh, for example, two, see the Amber, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, basically. Which is not bad. It's not bad. It's not, that's a good Amber account. Amber control-wise, we have this one here. And then we have some weird stuff in Brobnar. We have some ways to get through the deck, which is nice. And we do have some... I mean, these upgrades here. We can stun creatures. Some direct damage. Using creatures out of house is nice. This is sort of helps out with the damage. This so, oh wow! If we put this on, where is he? On Cowfine. Then Cowfine will do two. He will do four damage to each neighbor before uh, the fight, and then he becomes an eight power creature with a plus three from this. And then we can get someone back, and you know, he basically heal them. Put the um, and we get the upgrade back as well. That's so good. A little bit of stealing there. I wish we could pull this off. I don't know if it's going to be possible though. Let me think about it. So we have to like a key would cost 16 if nothing else changes to that. We start our turn basically with six cards, maybe seven if we have daughter. So that's going to be like nine or ten amber to forge a key. I don't know if we can pull that off. Well, we're not. Yeah, we could have like five amber at the start of a turn, maybe getting five more. It's not impossible, but it's not that likely either. But yeah, I, I, so much fun with this deck for me. I, I'm gonna, I really look forward to playing this because it's so different from most of those decks that are out there right now. So let's go up here and thank you so much for watching. Please like the video down there if you did like it and subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening or morning whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye bye. Be like Draco. Follow board games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas.